How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Fear and Hunger. We are, we're booting up Blackjack again here. I'm gonna see what it takes to kick Buddy Boy out of the team. Shit, do I not have a, an easy way to just boot him, like cut him, just let him, let him drop dead, essentially? I'm not allowed to just cut him from the team because that's very much what I would like to do. I would like to just say no more. We don't want you. Get out of here. Do you know what? While I have a full crew here and I don't actually care that much about what happens to Blackjack and it's I have this save point at all and all that jazz. Lots of things going for me basically. I'm gonna try... I, I thought I, th I guess it was on that last attempt that I had all the blue vials. Now heal up, I'm gonna go fight this big wood beast thing, cause I never have. And I just I just kinda wanna see what it's like going face to face with the giant armor marches from the shadows. The Iron Shakespeare uh, Oh, that's that that's that's his actual name. I thought it was just saying his arm was called the Iron Shakespeare, and I was like, that is not a cool when you're gonna name, you know, on a lethal weapon or rigs and Murtar or something. I don't know why those are my go-to. Um, but like when you're gonna name your arms and stuff, I was like, Shakespeare is not a cool name for that sort of shit. Not sure why he decided to go that route. Oh, come on. You guys gotta focus a little bit more than that. Lantern smash. It broke his bones. That's extra, extra bad because he is mostly bones. So, uh, yeah, that... That tends to not be a good thing. Um, shit, everyone's everyone's like so messed up now. Uh, that's two hits landed on that thing and I still couldn't take it out. Cinder, the little girl, is getting messed up. She's burning. Buddy boy's getting smashed to shit. They're lighting up the second one now too. This thing is hardcore. Uh, <laughs> I just want to see if I can take out an arm even. Come on. This thing has so much health, are you kidding me? Take out those legs. Mess that, mess that guy up, dude. Yeah, what in the sweet fucking hell? The Shakespeare loses its balance. Maybe that's what you gotta do. Maybe you, maybe you gotta take out its stupid little, goofy little legs first. You know what, same exact reasoning as before. There's, it costs nothing to attempt it. I think I might as well try and fight this thing and gun for its legs and and see if that like opens it up uh, and and maybe I could actually kill this thing. So it'd be super fun just to try and, and possibly that had to have been like 10 damage shy of killing that leg. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Quit that. Please. Please. Surely he has some forgiveness in his fiery heart. He has a, a poet's heart, right, Shirley? Everyone keeps attach, attacking his body here. God damn it. That's no good. She did a damn good job holding herself up to that, though, didn't she? Whatever, try and kill his head or something then. What else, what else are we gonna do at this point? Hmm. Look at that. Ganged up on... The little girl. What a bastard. <laughs> right? You might as well give him a quick kick to the head now, too. Show him what for. There there you guys go. Really letting him have it there, aren't ya? Come on. Ah, oh, I wanted them to kill anyone other than Jack so that I could try and take one more swing at the head. Whatever. Oh, I have a cleaver. I have another cleaver. Well, now I gotta do that one more time. I'll cut around it. The Iron Shakespeare stumbles from the shadows. Am I an idiot and completely misread that the first time? Like, or was it actually, did it actually come up as something different? I guess I'll be able to confirm in the editing process. Damn it! That was the one thing that would have made this not go well. You idiot. Thanks for ruining it. At least he missed too. There, okay. Everything works out fine then, doesn't it? I don't know how to prioritize what I attack or anything like that. These guys seem to be wailing on his torso a bunch. Like, that seems like the worst place to target, doesn't it? A thousand? What the hell? 
That was incredible, Blackjack. <laughs> the hulking Iron Shakespeare blaze here. Uh, what do you want to do with the hollow body? Well, search it. Sell keys F3 from, from the Iron Shakespeare. Uh, and kick him around a little bit while we're at it. Sure, why not? Oh, shit. Uh, what does this guy think then? Because he's just sitting there cowering from this thing, right? Seymour. This is Seymour. This is who Buckman was talking about. Um, are, are you hurt? I, I guess we go through the usual motions. Uh, caught me off guard, but he's dead now. He's gone, dude. Well, what can... Now what happens? Now my priority is to regroup with the Crown Prince, Prince Ludwig Buckman, and with the rest of my party, if possible. That is like a possibility now, dude. I, I, I've saved your ass. God damn it. Ah, that's so cool to have done that, and it felt so unlikely, and he's not going to capitalize on it at all. Do you know what? I'm going to, like, leave and come back and see if he left. You're not cornered anymore, Seymour. Is new dialogue? No, that's so strange. Seems like it would be very cool to feel like you saved him. I'm still shocked at that weird 1,000 critical hit to the head or whatever it was that happened there. But it was amazing. Oh, shit. Oh, it's jammed. I was like, I have a key for this. I could do something about it. Possibly for the first time. Yeah, I'm not messing with the lizard man today. I think this is how I managed to find my way. Oh, that's what the lever is for. I gotcha. I figured it out. But now I, I want to go to Buckman and see if um, he suddenly like wants to go to Seymour. Because now I, I have a way to help him. So let's... Let's deal with this shit. Diving on in there this time. Yeah, you're such a stupid bitch. Yeah, show him what's up with your weak little punches. Man, I really wish I could just cut you from the team. That sure would uh, go a long ways into helping me. You think you could use your necromancy skills or something to like un undo that and, and just let him drop dead, right? Actually, oh, you can... The counter magic autom automatically applies there. I was going to see if I could counter magic Buddy Boy and just get him off the team. Sup, dude. Uh, I, I have some good news for you. I met a knight in the basement. Sir Seymour, it must be your guardian angel. Come on, guys. I, I have... I've done everything for you here. It's as conveniently laid out as it could possibly, as it could possibly be. I, all the hard work is done. You just have to go meet each other and be with each other. Come on. I'm so helpful. No one cares. All right, well, I'm going to go back and try and pull that lever then. Mm, shit, I didn't want to have to deal with this right now. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> That's what I think of that. All right, well, I guess I can go try and take out this guard again. It went so well last time that I have, like, all this confidence in it, but I don't... It just happened to go really, really well. It's not necessarily going to be that good this time. No, why didn't anyone help me take out the crossbow? He's still loading it. He's still loading it. All right. We... There is a chance, then. Please don't miss. Ah. All right. Then we, we have a chance here. Man, his stinger sticks a lot more forward than the other type of guard. It's uh, much more uncomfortable when it looks less like a tail and more like a big old meaty wang pointing out the front there. Not a fan, if I'm being honest. It's kind of disgusting. No, Davy, no! Oh, I was, I was going to say, why couldn't you kill goddamn Buddy Boy? He's definitely weaker and shittier, but I guess either way... The food falls through Davy's bones. Uh, but either way, I guess I have room in my party now. So in some small way, he did he did help. Mm, I don't have to use red vials for all this, because that sucks. It sucks burning through all of those all the time. Nice. Antidote. Soulstone. All right. That's still cool to have. Ooh. 
Uh, can I spend that on one of you guys? Yeah. Does that still, is it still a lesser when it's a guard? Because before I did it on the lizard man, I think. It's still lesser. It's still a lesser soul. It must have to be like a, a boss type monster to be considered more than that. Coins. Great. Is this locked from the other side? Ah, shit, right. There's like the stairs or, or whatever's going on there. I don't have a clue how to reach that. Opium powder. Woohoo. And a pine cone. I don't think I have any twigs. Which seems like it would be the much, much easier thing to come by. Dang. Can't make my pine cone pig yet. Oh, shit. I actually don't want to fight him without the mercenary. I feel like that would be a big old mistake. Is this where he was, though? Now all of a sudden I can't find him. Uh, shit. I guess I could just run. Nah, we can handle it. Hopefully, I think. But I thought I found the mercenary somewhere around here much more easily than it has ended up being. I think... I can't remember the exact order. I think I need to take out the auto-kill arm next. I hope the stinger isn't geared up. It's still pulsing. All right. Buddy boy is slowly dying. Sooner or later, I'm no longer going to have him on the team. See, that pulser is, looks more like a tail. The stinger, I guess you would call it. Fuck! Forgot he could do that. God damn it. That's sh That sucks. Shit. All right, well... I'm not killing the big wooden thing again. Not helping Seymour. It didn't seem to matter remotely. Having the key was nice, though. But it just is not worth it. He was breaking bones and shit all over the place. Like, I see no reason to stick with that. Oh, it was up here. I was, like, right next to where you have to go to save, to save the mercenary. Well... You know what, I probably went, I should have went and fought that guard first to get the key so I wouldn't have to waste that, but whatever. I realized so immediately, ah shit, I forgot to equip the cleaver to this dude. Is it, can I do that now? No. Um, the purifying talisman, by the way, is what I used to open that door with other characters. The door where, this is from like an episode or two ago, it's just that I happen to record them all at the same time. Um, thank you. Thank you for getting on board with that attack pattern there. The purifying talisman is what I used to open the door where the altar was where you could teach yourself skills. Yeah, I couldn't remember at the time because with this character, he is able to use um, his, his counter magic or whatever it is. So it works differently with the dark priest than it did with others. Sweet dude. Punch him right in his nose. So Great work all around, everyone. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if you finished off Buddy Boy. That would do a lot to help me. I'm going to kind of try and drag this out one more turn and hope he doesn't attack me. Please? Please? <laughs> yeah! That's kind of what I wanted. It's... Uh, I don't feel great about it, but... It's going to go a long ways in the, the helping me situation. So, hey, hey. Oh, come on. Get his one last shot in there at the end. All right, dude. This time I can actually bring you along with me. Kahara, uh, what are you doing? What's going on? Do you feel like going on a fun adventure? Good idea. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man, we're in way better shape here. Now, as we were just a short moment before, borderline makes me want to use my Book of Enlightenment. Because this is obviously going to be a lot more useful for me than, than like, pretty much anything else. And it was so specific to lose Buddy Boy in that battle. Like, it sets me up really friggin' well. And it, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna, oh, there's something there I can pick up, isn't there? Oh, right, the doll, the whole doll thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to the girl. It's fine. Oh, I don't have a skinning knife. I really thought that I did. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna open this up and... I, well, I don't know. It's not a huge risk or anything, but it feels like a waste to use the vial for something simple like that. 
I was just hoping it would have something slightly more valuable than nothing. What are you going to do? Oh, this is... I, I haven't even searched these yet on this particular run. Nitroglycerin. Holy shit. What? That's, uh, that's a new one, isn't it? I can't nitroglycerin the door open? That seems like that would be a practical solution, wouldn't you think? Oil? No antidote. Why is there never antidote? A stick. <gasps> Also, there, I, you can search this thing on the floor, too, I thought. Uh, maybe not. <gasps> I'm re-gasping. Damn it! That was that other attempt. Shit! That's so disappointing to have not found everything needed. That's not what I need, man. I'll fight him. Whatever. I forgot to give items to Kahara. I might have screwed myself. I think I I think I forgot to equip him with anything. Shit. Um, I don't want to have to waste an explosive vial. Poison throwing dart. Hopefully that's worth it, man. Hopefully that takes this dude out. Hey, that was a weak ass arm, apparently. Great work, team. That uh, that was pretty good. Considering I, I like kind of basically s screwed myself Maybe he started with weapons. Maybe he had some weapons already. He has something it looked maybe it always looks like he has a sword or whatever but It really did look like he had something of use there Everyone everyone just bang this dude's head around knock him around a little bit like a, like one of those speed bags Oh Come the fuck on he must not Come, come on guys they must not be carrying he must not be carrying a useful item if you don't do this if you don't kill him he's gonna tackle me he's gonna end this run come on this is the worst attempt you guys have ever made I'm embarrassed fuck off that went terribly you dude you need better shit than what you got cause it is not working ah the key, that's nice, I guess. Captain's Diary 2? But, uh, it's not really what I was looking for. Maybe, maybe we try and take the elevator down. It could be worth a shot. Uh, I'm kind of up in the air. Again. Don't have any skidding knives or anything. So I'm simultaneously in like a terrible spot and like a great spot. I don't know where to commit my efforts. The mercenary Kahara seems to have left your party without you noticing. You're missing silver coins. Fuck. You, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, well now I don't even care. Now I'm like, now this run is just going poorly, and now I'm like angry and aggravated, and I don't know what to do next or where to go or like, come on, dude. I wonder if there's something you could do to keep him around. Like, I wonder if he's just always going to be a thief or if you can entice him, to, like make it worth his while in some way, you know? I was hoping. Oh no no no! I just want to head down this way, anyways. That's fine. That's I. I didn't want. I don't want to run past the lizard man. Doesn't matter. Cause we're just trying to go to here. There's a pit leading to darkness. Cool air blows from the hole. Yeah, I don't care about the hole, man. Get in the elevator. Take the elevator. Is everyone gonna do it? Strange mechanism. Use it. Pile on, and everyone get comfortable. The caverns. Vast darkness embraces you with its cold emptiness. I assume it's supposed to be embraces. Hi there, pile of people. A pile of burnt bodies remain here. That's a weird place to put your burnt bodies. <laughs> Seems a little out of place. Ah, shit. Nothing going on down there. The bridge looks rickety. I don't want to mess around with this imp thing right now. Not really feeling it. I'm just kind of trying to figure out... Just trying to see what a new area has to offer. There's a huge creature chained on the wall. It's all dried up but it's uncertain whether it's alive or not. Its breasts are oozing yellow mucus? Milk it. You milked yellow mucus. God 
damn it. Mmm, <laughs> the smell is off. Yeah, I wouldn't think it would be good. That's gross, dude. Um, I know that I, I swear forever ago, many episodes ago, I found a recipe that needed... Huh, it's like a weird pumpkin cat-headed Buckman. Uh, I, I was fairly certain I found something that required a yellow liquid as part of the recipe. Never figured that out. Pocket Cat. Hello, stranger. How are you doing on this wonderful day? What is so wonderful about it? New day brings new challenges. What is life without challenges? Life sure is peculiar like that, huh? Life is peculiar when you're peculiar. Got that right. I'm liking you already. I know we just met, but I feel like the connection is forming here. I hope you don't mind if I ask this straight. Living humans are divided into two groups, yes? There are children of light and those destined to walk under the bright sun. Those people do well in all hardships of life. They have dear humans who they want to return to. Even in the darkest hour, they can feel warmth of their loved ones in their heart and gain extra courage from that. I'm so unclear with where this is going. Then in the opposite end of the spectrum, there are people of darkness. Those humans are often driven to depression and sorrow because of life's peculiar ways. But they have learned how to live with those feelings. In fact, they've grown to love the ever-pressing darkness within. Those humans are able to draw energy from darkness. They are not dependent on other people. They only need darkness, their old friend. Hello. So, humans of light or darkness, which are you? I'm a dark priest. I'm going to say darkness. Yes. They all are. I suspected as much. I'm glad you were able to be so honest with me. Tell me. Do you love me by chance? Yes. Sure. Right. <laughs> so you really aren't a human of darkness. You just said so, because you thought that's what I wanted to hear. That's all right. Really. However, must always remember. you must always remember to be yourself in every situation. Even if you love someone, because of your... If you base your love on a lie like that, it won't end well for you. Well, it probably won't end well anyways, but that's life. Peculiar as always. Well, anyways, I'm a merchant of sorts. I sell precious items and weapons for those in need. The funny thing is, though, I don't want your gold or silver. I will trade items for human children. Bring them to me, and I'll make it worth your while. My pockets are very deep, you see? Shit, yeah, I want to see what that's all about. Hello, little one. What a pretty little face you are. I like your hips and ankles especially. Ugh. She's probably weak from other things other than hunger. Maybe disgust. She seems to be scared of Pocket Cat. How would I make you an offer you cannot refuse? Just for you, my special customer. I'll trade the little girl to an item of your choosing. Claymore, Necronomicon, Book of Forgotten Memories, Book of Enlightenment. I'm going to pick the Necronomicon because I'm a dark priest. You trade the little girl for ancient book. Seems like a bad thing that I've done, but I'm just curious, and this run is not going great. An ancient-looking book with grotesque leather covers, you feel a great urge to read it. You feel a twist inside as you take the book from your satchel. You feel a great urge to open the book, but at the same time, you feel like the consequences might be terrible. Well, obviously, I have to try, right? Turns out this book is the very book many legends tell about. It goes by many names. The Rites of Madness... Alaziv, Testament of Grogoroth, Ex Mortis, and the Necronomicon. <laughs> I might have just risked everything on this. Oh, the book is, sum is summoning powers that exceed your understanding. Next to this ancient presence, you're nothing but a feeble ant. You cannot contain your fear. Ah, uh, you lose your mind. Oh, it's just on the spot. I thought like a cool cut scene or something would play out or anything. What if I would have won? What if I would have succeeded that heads or tails? Could have been so much cool potential there. All right, well, at least I know how to call down the elevator. I know how to go to Pocket Cat. I could trade him for something interesting. There's a bunch else to explore there. I don't know. I got options. I'm bummed out that the mercenary bailed on me, though. That was kind of a dick move, wasn't it? it feels a little limiting. I don't have as much choice. I, like, rescuing him doesn't seem as important anymore. Unless there's a way to, to keep them around, which I have no idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon.